Um, Mary, you've got an MFA in creative writing. I'm gonna make this just about my last question for you because okay. I, I want to give you time to to have your silent introvert time and, and restore <laughs> balance. Um, but uh, you've got an MFA in creative writing. Is it still possible that we may see a middle grade novel picture book from Mary Cole, or have you found a greater satisfaction in helping other authors? You know, to be honest with you, I think most people who work in publishing, they have their own little creative stuff uh, that they're working on. And uh, I've only met like one or two editors who like swear up and down that they aren't interested in their own writing. Um, and I almost don't believe them, but <laughs> again, again Can you name names? <laughs> that's, that's a different issue. Um, so yeah, I love to write. What brought me to uh, the publishing industry in the first place was a love of writing. But I also think that people should be strategic and play to their strengths. And to be perfectly honest with you, one of the struggles that I face with my own writing is that I'm very, very critical of my own work in a way that maybe nips stuff in the bud a little bit, you know? Uh, I almost know too much where if I, like I'm, I'm heavily, heavily critical of myself. And that's something that I need to work on in my own life because who needs that? Who needs to be that mean to themselves? But if I come up with, with an idea, I then come up with about 20 reasons why it's a bad idea. And if I start doing fiction writing, because I'm so used to being on the other side of things and critiquing fiction writing, I can come up with about 20 reasons why it's bad writing. And so I actually end up um, you know, starting a lot of things and then getting discouraged because I am my own worst critic, literally. And um, I, I don't edit other people like this. Like to, <laughs> just to clarify. <laughs> this is just for uh, I'm, I'm an author of one. Just that, Mary Cole gets this treatment. I'm a jerk to this one, not a y'all. Um, but it's it's actually been a big struggle for me to be like, man, I used to really enjoy writing until I got into the industry and got to know so much writing and read so much writing that I perceived to be better than my own. And it really kind of took the wind out of my sails. So I have uh, drawer manuscripts that'll probably never see the light of day. I, uh, I, I don't rule out especially another nonfiction book because like I said, I really loved the process of uh, writing that one. Um, who knows, you know, I'd love, I would love to be published in fiction. Um, we'll see. Uh, the other issue is time. I have a young family and I work with over 500 clients a year, which is not like, it's insane to me that I would ever be so busy and so fulfilled uh, doing some Not a stretch publishing. and my stomach is tightening just hearing that. Oh, <laughs> right? I just, but not all of them are novels, right? So, you know, there are picture books I can, I can, it, it doesn't take me a whole day to do a picture book, let's just say. So, I'm just so phenomenally busy, but I would, yeah, it's, it's a heart dream of mine. And, uh, and hopefully, hopefully I get a chance to make it come true for myself one day, not just my clients. Well, as soon as you do come back here, I will review it on the uh, blog. I'll be happy to have you back. We'll talk about it. Be nicer um, to me than I am to me. That's all I ask. And it would that be sounds like, uh, <laughs> like an easy enough thing to do. <laughs>